So about a year or two years ago, I want to say, was it two years ago or three years ago? How many years ago was it? I do not remember. But a few years ago, Nickelbrook brought out a mystery pack, Mystery Pack Volume 1. It contained four mystery beers of different styles, and we as consumers had to pick which one would be the winner to be brewed and canned and shipped out full time all year round for their core lineup. Now, here at the end of 2020, Nickelbrook is doing the same thing again with Mystery Pack Volume 2. Instead of blue and purple colors and white, it's green, it's lime green, it's pretty cool. And this one, instead of different styles, they're sticking with all IPAs at varying ABVs. Do we know how these IPAs are made? No, we don't. Do we know the alcohols? Yes. Do we know anything else? Hell no. So it's a big mystery. We'll find out later down the road which one the winner is. But hey, now we got it. And today we're looking at Mystery Beer B. So let's do some science experiments. Let's figure out if this one's better than A. And then the next couple of days we'll figure out between C and D as well. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Brewski from the Rooski Brewski Review. And today the beer that I have for you guys is by Nickelbrook Brewing Company. This is beer number B, or number B, beer, mystery beer letter B. Another IPA from the series IPA, uh, you know, mystery beer A was 5.5%. This one is 6.5%. No known IBUs, no idea what's in it. We know nothing other than the ABV. So, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Mystery Beer A was pretty interesting, has some very unique flavors, and flavors that I have never seen in an IPA before. Nickelbrook, you always surprise me, even though I know you make good beer, make great beer, still surprise me. So, this one's another percent up, very similar uh, in percentage, actually the same percentage, as Wicked Awesome, which was Mystery Beer C, if I'm not mistaken, from the first mix pack. That's the one I voted for, and that's the one that won. Let's pour this guy up. Let's see what's going on here. The Mystery Beer B. It's about half the can, maybe a slight touch more. For one, nice golden color, slightly hazy, less hazy than the first, uh, the Mystery Beer A. Also, the head seems to be a bit more of an off-white uh, compared to the first one. Also, there's more head on this one pretty darn cool also a higher percentage i'm not sure if there's any you know floaties down the bottom of the can we'll find out when i empty the rest but thus far looking a bit clearer you can see through it just a bit better on the nose much much lighter on the nose not as intense that first one very reminiscent of like a new england ipa this one very light, almost non-existent on the nose. Like nothing. Is that me or is that beer? I don't know. It's not me, I just smell other things. My armpit, an empty whiskey glass and an empty coffee mug, just to make sure it wasn't me. This beer doesn't really have much of an aroma. Very light, ah, uh, yeah, what is it? You know what, when in doubt, agitate it. A very light pine, a little bit of melon, a little bit of cucumber coming off the nose here. I'm wondering if it's maybe a root IPA. Just because brewed IPA seems to be a lot lighter on aroma and in flavor, but they're a lot more crisper compared to other IPAs. Yeah, cucumber, maybe a little bit of a lot, uh, lemon lime, more like lime citrus. Slight pine, no grapefruit. Extremely light on the nose. Let's get into it. The 
is a lot more flavor though. Again, sort of that candy. Not candy, you know, gay bacon strips or rainbow bacon, but just a candied sugar. Kind of not brown sugar, but like a just general sweetness of candy, maybe a little bit of melon, cucumber refreshment out of it as well. Fairly crisp, but not as crisp as a brute IPA. Uh, not a heavy, not not as heavy as a body compared to Mystery Beer A. Just quite interesting. Very light nose, almost like a sweet citrus, sweet citrus, melon, cucumber on the taste. We need more research. So with that said, cheers everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Let's get sciency in this bitch. Yeah, very, quite light on the on the mouthfeel of it. Not as crisp as I thought it was going to be, um, but sweet. General sugary sweetness, melons, little citrusy, lime for some reason I'm going with that. Or maybe like a lemon-lime mix, but not overly citrusy. Uh, cucumber sweetness to it. Not much pine, really no grapefruit. Interesting, interesting IPA here, but at the same time, that sweetness of it, because it just seems so general, it's not a specific style of sweetness, doesn't really work for me. I wouldn't say coyly sweet or overly sweet, but at the same time, because there is real no, no depth to the beer thus far, I would say it's a little awkwardly sweet. Over on the can, let's see what it has to say. There's not much information given. 6.5% mystery beer B, strong beer. Ingredients are water, malted barley, wheat, oats, hops, and yeast. Same exact ingredients as in mystery beer A. If I'm not mistaken, I think all have the same exact ingredients. So they're all made with wheat and oats in addition to your typical barley, hops, yeast. Yeah. Uh, vote. You go to the nickelbrook.com slash mystery pack. You can vote there. You also get entered into contests for, for uh, glasses. A year supply, year supply of beer? Let me get this little card out here. It's on the floor. I don't know why that is. College things. Yeah, we get... Nope, it's not on here. It's on the website. It's on the website. Boop. That can go right there again. Website, here we go, nickelbrook.com. You go to the beer section, scroll down a little bit as you always do, and you do find the mystery pack. I'm gonna read it again if you saw Mystery Beer A. You can skip this few seconds, but if not, here you go. Each IPA in this pack is fantastic if we do say so ourselves, but it's up to you to decide which one gets the honor of being turned into a standalone release. No pressure, but this may be one of the most important decisions of your entire life. After you study each beer carefully and thoroughly, click here, it's a link, uh, to cast your vote for your favorite. Once you've voted, you'll have a chance to claim one of 500 limited edition glasses. Enjoy the feeling knowing, sorry, enjoy the feeling of knowing that you made the world a better place. You'll be also be automatically placed into, in a draw to win beer for a year. That is awesome. The beer that gets the most top votes will be released in the spring of 2021. Better grab this pack quickly because it'll be gone in a flash. And they list alcohol uh, by volumes of each beer. We got 5.5 for A, 6.5 for B, 3.5 for C, and 4.3 for D. Yeah, even though I like my beer sometimes, you know, a little bit, a little bit higher than 5.5. I mean, you know, 5%, as me and Jordan say, you don't drink beers under 6% no more. Obviously, I do because I have to. It's kind of my job at the moment. But you know what? Compared to A, not as big of a fan. It's a good beer still, but it's lacking depth, lacking a nice hop, you know, intensity compared to how, uh, how much alcohol is in here. The, the IPAs in general, it's very light on the hop uh, intensity. And when I say hop intensity, I mean very general um, flavor characteristics. But yeah, it's just a little too sweet for me of an IPA without that extra, without that addition 
of hoppy bitterness, again, generalization, uh, and depth uh, that you get from other IPA. And it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't fit uh, my my thoughts of what, what an IPA is, and I think what most people think. Uh, but then again, I'm, I can only speak for myself here. If you have different opinions on this beer, let me know down in the comment box below, and let me know which one you're voting for if you picked up the mystery pack, because I, I would like to see if we can compare scientific research, which is pretty cool. Over on Untapped, I think this beer actually got a higher mark than beer A, because beer A got 3.57, and beer B got 3.71 thus far out of 93 ratings. Pretty interesting. Anybody saying anything? What is this beer for basic? Or in my opinion, boring. It seems, seems a straight, generic, mild-mannered IPA. Nothing unpleasant about it, but entirely forgettable. The beer, the sphere has enough of these. Wow, that guy was a little harsh on it. Uh, out of the bunch, this is the likely one that is missing most from NB's lineup. Caramel malts are a bit more present. Sort of a nice combination of an English-American IPA. Not my thing, but certainly one that stands out in the bunch. Caramel malts. Ooh. Is that the closest that I could think of? Maybe of that sweetness? Maybe, but... Again... Too sweet, not a lot of hot bitterness or depth of complexity to this one, in my opinion. As for the price, you get the four pack, the four packs, $13.95, whether you're shopping at your local LCBO or whether you're picking it up off of the Nickelbrook website or at their store. Interesting stuff. Not as good as I as, as uh, Mystery Beer A, in my opinion, so not going to be voting for this guy between the two. We'll figure out in the next two beers. The lower alcohol beers, the next two. How will they pan out? You will see in the next two days. So with that said, guys, cheers to the final sip. Let's get ready to train and wrap this thing up. Nickel Brook Brewing Company. Mystery Beer B from Mystery Pack Volume 2. Not a lot of pie, not a lot of grapefruit, not a lot of traditional IPA flavors in my opinion. A little light, almost airy. Melon, uh, generalized syrupy, no, generalized sugar sweetness to it. Melon, cucumber, lime, a citrusy a little bit, like a teeny weeny little bit. Not much going on here. Yes, it's 6.5%, but it's a little too sweet for me, in my opinion. Not really my thing. I did prefer A over B thus far. Overall, though, still a solid beer, just not my thing. Not a bad beer, not, no offensive flavors, just the lacking, lacking fun, in my opinion. It's just sweet. It's just quite sweet. Overall, Mystery Beer B from Mystery Pack Volume 2 gets solid 7-2 out of 10 for me. Ash presentation, again, not a lot of information, but it does look pretty cool. I forget what I gave the other one, to be completely honest. I think I gave it maybe an 8 out of 10, right? Or 9 out of, nine out of 10, because I discounted the, the loss of information because of the style of, of marketing in this one. It's a mystery pack. I'm not going to give you a ton of information. I think I gave it a 9. So I'll stick with that. Whatever I gave the last one, check it out in the video. Uh, I'll, I'll give the same. Before I leave, guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all, all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruski, we greatly appreciate it as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Mystery Beer B. Do you have any haze at the bottom of the can that I missed? There might have been a little bit, but I don't think, no, not really. No, it's just a lot more head on that particular, I almost spilled that glass. No, not really, maybe a little bit. Smells the exact same, probably tastes the exact same. Thanks for watching. Oh shit, cheers.